Hi guys, I'm Lisa. We're going to be doing a general yoga sequence today, uh, specifically to release tension from the neck, shoulders, and the back, which are the three main places that we hold tension throughout the body. So you might want to grab two blocks and a strap, just in case. And we're going to start out in Shavasana. So come all the way down to the mat. Now, however this is comfortable for you, you might want to keep your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. But if you can, you're going to stretch all the way out. Bring your palms up next to your sides. Let your shoulders relax down into the mat. And let your feet just gently open to the sides. Starting to bring your attention to your breath. As you take an inhale, and exhale out. Deep inhalation, and exhaling out completely. And as you settle in, bringing your attention to your right toes, your right foot, the back of that heel, and then traveling up that leg, noticing your calf touching the mat, and your hamstring, and then tighten up that leg for just a second, and then release. Release it completely down into the mat and let yourself relax. And then bringing your attention to your left toes, your left foot, the back of that heel, and traveling up that leg, noticing your calf, your hamstring, tightening up that leg for just a second. So we're creating this tension in the leg and then slowly release. Letting your mind follow up through the body to the hips, the back of the ribs, and the shoulders. And then bringing your attention to your right fingertips, the back of your right hand, your right forearm, your tricep and bicep. Make a fist with that hand, squeeze, and gently release. And then bringing your attention over to the left fingertips, the back of your left hand, your forearm, and that tricep and bicep. Make a fist with that hand. And then gently release. Bringing your attention to your shoulders, maybe bringing your shoulders down a couple inches from your ears. Softening through the neck. Maybe parting your teeth to relax the jaw. And noticing if you feel any tension between your eyes. Take a deep breath in. and exhale out. Continuing with your breath for a few more rounds. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation.
and then gently starting to bring some movement back to your hands, maybe wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, rocking your neck side to side. Bring the soles of the feet down to the mat. And then drawing your knees in towards your chest, pressing that lower back down to the mat, wrapping your hands around your shins, and maybe just rocking side to side. Massaging the lower back, releasing any tension. And then let's bring the feet down to the mat. Walk the feet over to the edges of the mat. Hands can just rest by your sides and tap the knees in in the center. And let's windshield wiper. So dropping one knee down and then the other. Just take your time here, feeling the motion through the legs, the outer hips. And maybe turning your head to the side to, to release the neck. And then bringing your knees back up to center, walking your feet back in underneath of your knees and bringing your hands by your sides, rolling your shoulders back Press your palms down into the mat. Take an inhale and lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Exhale, start to lift your hips up. So we lift the hips, lower back, mid back, and hold it here in this bridge position. Slowly lower back down. And lengthen your tailbone, so push the lower back down to the mat. Take an inhale and exhale, lift up. Squeeze your glutes at the top and then slowly lower back down. So mid back comes down, lower back, and then the hips meet the mat. Arms out to the sides. Walk your legs together. So squeeze your thighs here and let's lower the knees down to the left for a twist. Keeping the shoulders down, even if your knees don't come all the way down to the floor, your legs. And then maybe turning your head to the right, looking out over that shoulder, anchoring yourself down here. Taking a breath in. And noticing that stretch all along the right side. Draw that bottom leg up to meet the top leg as you bring your legs back up to center. And then lower the legs down to the opposite side, anchoring down through the shoulders. And maybe turning to look up, look to the left. Let yourself relax into the stretch, so no tension through the shoulders and the neck. And then draw that bottom leg up to meet the top leg. Come back up to center and draw your knees back in for a hug. Gently rock side to side. And we're going to turn on to our left side. So take your left arm above your head. Take your other arm to push up and then line yourself up with the back of the mat. Now I'm going to take one leg on top of the other, hips stacked, but if you feel like you're going to fall backwards here, you can always feel free to bend that bottom knee for support. Keep that top palm pressing down into the mat and then bring your heels together. Rotate your leg up towards the ceiling and let's point the toes. Let's lift up. Now turn the foot and bring it back down. Heels together, 
point the toes and lift. Now turn the toes and lower back down. So we're getting that internal and external rotation through the leg. One more time, heels together. Point the toes, lift up. Turn the foot and lower back down. Now bend the knees in and draw that top knee in towards your chest. Just give yourself a squeeze here. Scoop the belly in, navel comes towards the spine. Take a breath. And then slowly release that knee down. Let's roll over onto our back. And rest it here for just a moment, pressing your back into the mat. Relax your shoulders down. And let's roll to the other side. So to the right side, extend your right arm up. Use the other hand to help lift you up and roll to the back edge of the mat. Taking your legs straight if you can, stacking one hip on top of the other. Top hand comes down to the mat for support. Heels together. Point the toes and then lift that leg up. Turn the foot and lower back down. Turn the toes, heels together, lift up. And then turn the foot and lower down. One more time, heels together, lift up strong. Don't worry about the height, just point through your toes. Now turn the foot and lower back down. Bend the knees in and then take that top knee, draw it in towards your chest, give yourself a hug. And then releasing that knee down, let's push up and come to seated. So grabbing onto your blocks, let's take them out in front. So the first block we're going to place on the floor, and that's just going to be on the smallest setting. The next block, we're going to take it to the highest setting. So root down through the sits bones. Let's take an inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, one more time, lift up, and exhale, lower down. And let's walk that left hand out by your side, tenting your fingers, coming to your fingertips. And slowly lower your left ear to the left shoulder. Just stretch out the neck. And then maybe extending the other arm out, maybe lifting up here to hover off of the ground. So let's switch legs. Other leg comes in front. So this is probably your more uncomfortable side. Might feel a little bit strange at first. So rooting down through the sits bones, lengthening through the spine, reaching up through the crown of the head, and we take an inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale out. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, big here. Walking that right hand out to your fingertips, lowering the right ear to the right shoulder, and then maybe walking that left arm out to a hover. Let's take an inhale, lift the arms up, and this time we exhale, fold forward. So we're gonna come forward onto the blocks. Actually, I'm gonna turn this block. So you still wanna be curling forward here from the hips. 
pushing back through the sits bones. And maybe you'll find that you can lower this block here to bring yourself forward a little bit more. Maybe walking your hands out in front and maybe pressing your palms down to push your hips back. Letting that stretch happen through the lower back. And then gently lifting your head up, walking your hands back in towards your shins. And let's switch the legs back. So let's do that forward fold again, rooting down through the sits bones. Take an inhale, lengthening through the spine and the crown of the head. And then exhale, fold forward. Bringing your head to rest. And if your head doesn't reach the blocks, don't worry about it. Just let your head hang. Maybe walking your hands forward, pressing down onto the floor to push back through the hips. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, walking your hands back, starting to gently lift up. And then moving your blocks, sitting them off to the side. So let's do a twist here. Bring the hands behind your head. Sit up tall, elbows out to the sides. And this is just a light grip on the back of the head. Hands are just resting. Take an inhale, exhale, twist to your left. Turn back to center, inhale, exhale, right. So keeping that openness through the shoulders, come back to center, inhale, exhale, left. Back to center, inhale, and exhale, right. And come back to center. And let's bring our hands to heart center, pressing your thumbs up against your sternum. Draw your shoulders back. Take an inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale, lower down. So think about lifting your whole rib cage here. Take an inhale, lift up through the ribs. And exhale, release any tension. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. And let's turn to come into a tabletop position. So on all fours, hands underneath of the shoulders, knees underneath of the hips. Spread your fingers wide here for support. Press down through your palms and your knuckles. And let's take a few rounds of cat-cow. So we take an inhale, drop the belly down, arch the back and pull the tailbone up. Gaze is forward and exhale round, chin to chest. Inhale, belly scoops down, look towards the front and exhale round in the chest. Take another round here going at your own pace, just feeling the stretch through the back. And then bringing your spine back to neutral. Let's curl the right toes under, slide that leg back push back through that heel. So you're almost pushing into the ball of your foot here to get that stretch up the calf. Take an inhale, lift the left arm up and flip the thumb up towards the sky. Reach through your fingertips. And then if you'd like to add a little bit more, flex that back foot and lift that leg up. Now scoop the belly up and in. Hold it here, take a breath. And then bring your hand down to the mat. As you bend that knee, step that foot forward. Let's take an inhale, lift up to low lunge. So reach through your fingers, 
tailbone roots down. Let's bring our palms together and down to heart center. Again, pressing the thumbs up into the sternum, draw the shoulders back, press down through the front heel and the top of the back foot. Take an inhale and then let's exhale over that front knee. So rotating through the waist. And then for more of a stretch, bringing that front elbow to the outside of the front knee, press your palms firmly together and rotate that top shoulder back. And turn back to center. Release your hands down to the mat. Take that front leg and extend it to the back like we did at the beginning. Push back through the heel. And then bring both knees to the mat. Let's lower all the way down. So keeping your hands next to your chest, pointing back through the toes. Draw the shoulders back and elbows in. Take an inhale, let's lift up to Cobra. And exhale, releasing one side of your cheek to the mat. One more Cobra here, turning your chin or forehead to the mat, pressing back through your feet, pushing your hips down as you inhale. Up. And exhale. Lower the other cheek down. Bring your hands to the front of the mat, one on top of the other, so elbows are out to the sides. Rest your forehead down on your hands. Let your shoulders come down. This is crocodile. Lift the right leg up, point the toes. And feel the stretch there, the lower back, the hamstring, and lower down. Let's lift the other leg up, point the toes, and lower down. Now, if you can, both legs at the same time. If not, do one and then the other. and slowly release down. Let's bring our palms back down to the mat and push back into a child's pose. So taking a moment to let yourself settle down. Taking a few deep breaths. And then let's lift the hips up off of the heels, coming back into that tabletop position. Separating your fingers, and maybe this time, we're just gonna circle the hips around. Just kind of take your time here, taking it back to where, feel, where it feels comfortable for you. And then reversing direction. And come back to neutral. This time we curl the left toes under, slide that leg back, push back through that heel. Take an inhale, lift the right arm up, flip the thumb up, and reach through your fingers. Press down through the top of the right foot as you flex the left foot and lift up. 
Scoop the belly up and in and take a breath. Bring your hand down to the mat and step that foot forward between your hands. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, coming into low lunge. Drawing the tailbone down towards the floor so we keep that arch out of the back. And then bringing the palms together down to heart center. So let's add on that twist, take an inhale, and as you exhale, twisting to the left, turn. So drawing that left hip back, And then for more of a stretch, bring that front elbow to the outside of the front knee, press your palms together and draw that top shoulder back. And slowly start to unwind, coming back to the center, release your hands down to the mat. Take that front foot to the back and curl the toes under, press back. Bend that knee and bring it down to the mat. As we come down to the belly again, preparing to lift up to Cobra. So press down through the tops of the feet, draw the shoulders back, separate your fingers, take an inhale, lift up, And exhale, lower down, bringing one cheek to the mat. And rest. One more cobra, bringing the chin or forehead to the mat. Take an inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Bring your hands around to the front. One hand on top of the other, resting your forehead down. Elbows to the sides and press your belly into the mat. Point the toes and let's lift the left leg up this time. So subtle stretch through the back and lower down. Lift the right leg up, squeeze your thighs and lower down. Now both legs at the same time, lift up. And lower down. Bring your hands, palms to the mat. Push back into that child's pose. Maybe bringing your big toes together. This is my personal preference. Knees open to the sides. Or you might prefer your knees closer together. Hands out in front. Or arms behind. And then lifting up. Bring your legs around to the front. And grab onto your strap. So opening the strap all the way up. And then let's take the strap and fold it in half. So keeping hold of the strap, lower down. And let's keep the knees bent with the feet flat on the floor. Draw your shoulders back, push your lower back to the mat. Now you wanna take your hands about shoulder width, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna take an inhale, reach the arms behind the head. So stretching out through the shoulders and then bring it back overhead and down towards your thighs. So inhale, reach up and back. 
and then draw the hands back up. And as you come forward, press your lower back into the mat. Take it overhead. So you're going to have that arch in the back when you reach overhead. And then bring it back down. Push your lower back to the mat. So lifting up the right knee. Let's take the arms overhead. So feel that gentle arch through the back. Bring the strap back down to the knee. And then extend that leg out as you take the strap overhead. And bring it back in. And extend out. One more time, bring it back in, keeping that pull on the strap and extend back out. Bring the knee back in and set that foot on the floor. Roll your shoulders here, maybe even your elbows out to the sides. And then we start with the lift, both feet on the floor. Take the arms behind. And then bring it back overhead, uh, back pushes down to the mat. Lift up. And lower down. Scoop the belly in, push the back down. One more time. Reach behind. And come forward. Now lifting up the left knee, we're going to extend out if you can, you're going to extend the left leg as the arms come overhead. Pull back in and extend back out. Pull back in and extend back out. Let's do one more, bring it in and extend out, hold it here, point through the toes, reach through the arms and then bend that knee in, bring the hands down and foot comes down to the mat. Bring your knees in for a hug and maybe just drawing some circles here. And reverse. And let's extend the legs all the way out. Same thing, grabbing onto that strap, point through your toes, reach the arms up and behind the head. Now, if this is too much here, you can always keep the knees bent like we had them before. Lift up. And also check your wrist here. You wanna try and keep your wrist in line with your forearm so we don't put too much pressure on the wrist by having it bent to the side. One more time, lift up overhead. Reach and lower down. Sit the strap off to the side Take your feet to the edges of your mat like we did at the beginning. Tap your knees in. Rest your arms down by your sides. And then windshield wiper side to side. And bring your knees back up to center. Walk your feet in and let's wrap your hands around your right shin, drawing that knee in towards the chest. Flex that foot. And then extending, lifting up the left toes, extending that leg out to the top of the mat, flexing that foot. Maybe checking your neck here, seeing so if you're crinkling up your neck, lengthening through the neck. 
and bring that right foot down to the mat and draw the left knee in. Pulling that knee back towards your shoulder, flexing that foot, lifting up the right toes and then sliding that leg forward, flexing that foot. And then gently releasing that foot down, extending that leg to the top of the mat and we find ourselves in Shavasana. So however this is comfortable for you, just taking a few moments here, letting your legs open to the sides, letting your palms face up. Bringing your shoulders back. And maybe doing that body scan, seeing if you feel any different than you did at the beginning of class. Maybe you still feel some pockets of tension and that's fine, just acknowledge. And maybe some areas do feel more relaxed. Taking a few deep breaths. starting to bring some movement back to your hands and your feet. Maybe bringing the soles of the feet down to the mat and then drawing the knees in to the chest. Rocking side to side. And then rolling off to one side, using that bottom arm like a pillow. And then gently lifting yourself up. Coming back into seated. Let's bring our hands to heart center and bow your forehead down towards your fingertips. Let's take one last inhalation together. And exhale out completely. Namaste. I wanna thank you all for joining me today. If you liked my video, then feel free to hit like and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading um, some bar routines and yoga lattice routines also. Thank you. Have a good day.